Right now I'm in the ocean on the cheapest raft I could find at the store. And in today's video, we're gonna be exploring another mystery of Google Maps. Hello and welcome to Sidetrack Adventures. My name is Steve. I wanted to mention that here at the beginning because recently my dad pointed out to me that I never say my name in these videos and I thought about it and he was like, oh yeah, he's right. So welcome, my name is Steve. This is Sidetrack Adventures. Anyway, today we're in San Diego, California at Mission Bay. And the reason we're in Mission Bay today is because recently I was looking at Google Maps and I saw something pretty weird and it's another Google Maps mystery. So I've lived in San Diego pretty much my entire life. I was born and raised here, and I've never seen this before, and I showed it to some other people, and they've never seen it either. So I wanted to come down to Mission Bay today and kind of explore and take a look and see if we can find out some more information about this mystery of Google Maps, which is West Ski Island. So here's Mission Bay. That's SeaWorld off in the distance. Now, a lot of people don't realize this, but Mission Bay is completely man-made. This was marshland up until the 1940s. In the 1940s, they decided that they wanted to make this a tourist attraction and began dredging it. And if you look out in this direction, you could kind of see what Mission Bay used to look like. That land over there is protected marshland. Now, all the islands out in Mission Bay are also man-made, of course, since the bay itself is man-made. And that includes West Ski Island, which is right in front of us. And that's what we're here to kind of take a look at today. So let's see if we can get the drone up in the air and get a better look at it. In order to tell the history of West Ski Island, we pretty much need to discuss Mission Bay's history as a whole. Today, Mission Bay is the largest man-made aquatic park in the United States. But prior to the arrival of Europeans, the area where the bay is consisted of a number of different types of wetland habitats, and at least three Native American villages were located in the area. When the Europeans first arrived in what is now San Diego, they named this area False Bay. You can kind of get an idea from this 1857 map what the area looked like then versus now. There had been some talk in the early 1900s of developing the area, and around this time the name Mission Bay started being widely used. By the 1940s, the economy of San Diego largely depended on the military, and city leaders wanted to diversify the economy, so plans to develop Mission Bay re-emerged. In the late 1940s, dredging and filling operations began converting the marsh into what Mission Bay Park is today, though the work wouldn't be complete until the 1960s. 25 million cubic yards of sand and silt were dredged to create the landforms of the park, which is now almost entirely man-made. So of course, all of the islands in the bay are man-made as well, including the uniquely shaped West Ski Island. However, the creation of the islands maybe didn't have the best planning, as tides and weather took their tolls on them over the years. Looking at Google Maps, you could see a listing where East Ski Island once was, but nothing remains of it. By the 1980s, it was mostly gone, and half of West Ski Island disappeared too. Rather than let the islands disappear completely and become hazards for boats, it was decided to save them. The efforts to save West Ski Island is why it looks the way it does now, and probably why the sight of it is so unfamiliar to San Diegans. Up until 1999, the island did not have a crescent shape. It looked like any other island in the bay. In the late 90s, the island was reshaped, stabilized with concrete blocks, which you can see making up the edges of the island in this shot, and East Ski Island was dredged and completely removed. Nowadays, it appears the island is a popular hangout for birds, including at least one seagull who decided he was going to fight my drone. Since this is his home, and I don't want to cause him any trouble, I'm going to go ahead and bring the drone back in. Now 
now that we've seen it from the air, I want to get out and get a closer look at it. Now it looks like it might be a little too far to swim. I mean, I could totally swim that far, but just for safety's sake, I think we need a boat. Unfortunately, there aren't any boat rentals in this part of Mission Bay, so there's no place we can rent a kayak or a jet ski or anything here. So let's head to the store and see if we can find ourselves a cheap boat. All right, looks like this is the cheapest boat. So let's go ahead and just grab this one. All right, this thing's a pain in the butt. It's about halfway pumped up and I'm already tired. All right, so I made it about, I don't know, 10, 20% of the way out. And I don't know if this is gonna work out very well. Uh, I'm not very far out. As a matter of fact, if I jumped out of the boat right now, yeah, I, I could still walk here. So let me try a little bit longer. And if this doesn't work, we'll find another way to get closer to that island. All right, so I'm about halfway out and this is way harder than I thought. Boy, I am tired right now. Okay, so getting out to the island on a cheap inflatable raft is a little bit more difficult than I thought. And as a matter of fact, right now, I'm being rescued. So let's see if we can figure out another way to get closer to that island. So we're back on land and deflating this raft takes almost as long as inflating it. I can't say that I recommend the Intex Explorer 300 for any ocean voyages. It definitely struggled trying to get out to that island, though I probably should have known something was up when there was three kids on the box and no adults. All right, so here we go. We're on a jet ski now. First time ever riding one. Let's see uh, how good of a view we get of this island. Alright, so we've made it to the island. You can really see the blocks that make up the island now. There is pretty much no sand left on the shore. Because of weather and tides, there really isn't much else they can do to keep the island from disappearing though. I'm really glad the raft plan failed, as all these signs say no trespassing and that this is a protected bird habitat. It would have been a lot of work to get out here on the raft, only to have to turn around. Plus, this jet ski is a lot more fun. You can see the inner beach of the island here. These arms probably do a really good job of protecting the beach and stopping the island from getting just completely wiped away. Now I'm not sure why they decided to keep Westkey Island while removing Eastkey Island rather than either keeping both islands or removing both islands. I tried to look it up in the master plan for Mission Bay that was published back in the 1990s, but there was only mention of removing Eastkey Island. There really wasn't any mention of Westkey Island in that plan at all. As we get around the side of the island, the water is starting to get really shallow here and I'm going to have to move a little further out. You can really see in some of the overhead shots how the island's kind of shifting to the south. So even this far from the island here on the south side, the water is really shallow. If I jumped off the jet ski here, I would be able to stand up with my head still out of the water. 
and there are places where the water wouldn't even go up to my waist. Here's a buoy near the island, warning of the sandbar and the shallow water. Because the jet ski company has my credit card on file, I'm not going to get too much closer because I don't want to accidentally suck up a rock or anything into the engine and end up owning a broken jet ski. And here's a quick look at where East Ski Island would have once been. So that's our look at West Ski Island, which may or may not have been just an elaborate plan to go jet skiing. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and we'll see you next week.